Good. Good. Good boy. So now Herbie's quite comfortable with the open carrier with the mat in it. So I'm just going to place the lid on it. Oh, no problems at all. Good boy. So we reward that. And we can feed also through the vents at the back here. Encouraging them right the way through into the carrier. Good boy. And those long treats are quite good for that, that you can break off. Or you can feed small biscuits, as long as you've got a cat that doesn't grab at your fingers. Now at the moment, oh there we go, I was going to say Herbie's not so comfortable because not all four feet are in yet. But he's getting braver. There we go, good boy. And see there's a high rate of reinforcement of food here and feeding quite con continually. Good boy! So I'm just going to feed Kirby a few more treats through the slats at the back of his cat carrier which encourages the whole body into the cat carrier. He's just digging around for those because they've gone down the side of his blanket, which is good because he's got a bit of a game to do there. We're just going to wait this out and see if he reverses out or whether he turns himself around. He's still looking for his treats at the moment. But this is good because as he's Spending time hunting for the treats, he's not having time to think that it might be not a nice place to be. Um, we've spent time prior to this making sure the mat's a positive place and the mat inside the half cat carrier is a positive place. I'm just going to fix the mat for him. Good boy! And you see he voluntarily went back in there. So we'll feed him a piece of treat. That's it. 
Good boy. To the bait of that. And now we want to move to the next stage of Herbie feeling comfortable being turned around in his carrier. Oh, on cue. Excellent. Well done, Herbie. We'll give him some treats for that. So now he's facing in the direction we would want him normally to be travelling in, so we can see what's happening. We don't want the door on at this stage, so Herbie feels um, comfortable in that if he wants to leave the cat carrier, he can. There's nothing stopping him, so there's no need for him to panic at all. And so by building this up slowly, we make sure that he's always feeling in control and he's feeling comfortable about being in there. So by the time we add the door, he's already comfortable with the cat carrier, so he will not feel trapped. Now Herbie's come out, good boy, because he wanted to, to find the treats, but he's learnt that actually the treats don't come straight from the hand, they come from being in the cat carrier, that's what pays. You can use a toy to lure your cat into the cat carrier, or as a reward for a game. Or you can use gentle fuss, if food is too arousing for your cat. And I use different things at different times with them to keep, keep them interested. So we're going to leave it there for Herbie for now. Let's just see if he comes out the cat carrier by himself or if he settles down within there. This is really good because he's voluntarily been in there for quite a number of seconds now. I think he's going to play hunt treat if there's any he's missed. Notice now he's in there and quite comfortable. Um, I don't need to use such a high rate of reinforcement with my treats. I don't need to deliver them quite as often. This isn't Herbie's first time by any means being in the carrier. So if this is your cat's very first time or you're trying to redo and um, make a new positive association with the cat carrier, then your steps need to be quite slow. Not jump from one section to the next section too fast. Boy, Herbie's just settled down a bit in the carrier. So I'm going to reward that with fuss rather than food, because sometimes food can be quite arousing um, and doesn't always lead to relax, settle, depending on the cat. So I'm going to reward that with some nice gentle fuss. That's Herbie just started to purr, so that's a really good sign. Important if you're using your hand for fuss that you don't block the exit point for them. They can come out if they want to, like that. Herbie's come out because he thinks he'll get more fuss if he's out, but we ignore him now. We don't give him any fuss at all. Because if he wants some fuss, he learns to go back in the cat carrier. 